23 Port Royal, very similar to the first house we saw, uh, almost the exact same floor plan inside, we'll take a look at that, but you do have the extra three car garage, um, nice fenced in yard, it backs up to a canal so you have privacy on the back side. Some nice landscaping, uh, looks like it was recently maybe flipped, so new paint all around, I mean even the front door I think it's still wet. Um, but you've got nice fencing all around. Uh, little pavers for the entryway. And then as we go inside, you've got tile throughout. This will be your, that dining space. Um, you've got your air handler and utility room, laundry room. We do have the garage three-car garage over here and you do have an access door to the patio and check that out in a second you have your half bath and I know no shower I'm sorry um, and you have the bonus room down here again there's no doorway here we have seen that on one of the other models um, and this opens, has a big window out to the patio. And then we've got our stairs for the second floor. We have our access to the patio over there. Nice big window, double doors with the blinds inside the glass, which is nice. You can just have a little slider thing. I like those. Um, and the kitchen. Again, I think this is all recently remodeled and painted. You've got the little grooves on the island here, which maybe reduces counter space, but makes for an easier flow. And then dual pantries. Nice appliances. Check out the grounds real quick before heading upstairs. Do have a built-in bar here. Um, looks like it might have seen some better days, but get, getting some good use. Uh, corrugated steel frame. And, uh, I feel like that's cement countertops. A couple of cabinets. Some bottle storage. And you have outside plumbing as well, which is nice. Another other nice part is it's right on the other side of the kitchen window there so you could probably pass stuff through as well this whole area is covered and then over on the other side you have kind of a pergola effect which you can do a lot with and then there's kind of like a garden sort of thing maybe one point it was really nice but I think it might have fallen into some disrepair needs some need some TLC or you could rip it out and do something completely different there's a lot this is a nice yard lots of space lots of greenery and again that's uh, there's a canal back there behind behind the house so nobody's building back there I'm not exactly sure where the property line falls. My guess is probably with this chain link fence. Um, that might be county easement. But again, it's this green space will, will stay for you um, moving forward. But nicely manicured back here for, for the most part. I mean, again, needs a little bit of TLC. And then we've got the bonus patio over here. We've got these extra pavers. Um, you know, you could pull an RV in here or, a, you know, extra car or trailer or anything, boat. And then you've got the patio. Um... No ceiling fans, but I think you could probably put ceiling fans in. That's what I would do. But it's all screened in. Uh, nice, usable space. And then that door leads to the garage. 
And now we're back inside. Let's go check out the upstairs. You have hard wood moving forward. So all the steps, the landing, and then the, I believe most of the second floor except for the bedrooms. So like I said, same floor plan as the other ones that we've seen. You've got bedroom one. I'm pretty sure this is all brand new carpet. And that's looking out over the bar area there. The outside bar area. You've got your uh, guest bath with dual vanities. You've got two more bedrooms over here. This is going to be overlooking the pergola as well as this one. And again, I believe this is all new carpet. I think they might have redone the tiles and stuff too. I'm pretty sure that's a new toilet. Um, like I said, I think they've done some updating here. And then you have your upstairs sitting area, loft area, hardwood floors. Looking back out over the front door. And then this is the primary. Nice big primary. We've got vaulted ceilings. We've got some art architectural features here, built-ins, the arch doorways. The layout of the bathroom is a little unique. We've got the big bathtub right here, soaking tub. And then we've got uh, your vanity. And closet number one. And closet number two, again, using the arch doorways. And then you have your water closet with the shower. You also have a bonus linen closet here as well.